U.S. Congressman claim Bible has pretty clear evidence of UFOs. Vatican knows aliens are here. Welcome to the UFO news. It's time to explore. The truth is out there. The unidentified aerial phenomena wall is not what many think it is. The reality of UAPs goes beyond mere flying machines and space aliens. It is turning into a rabbit hole. However, instead of revealing the truth, a new branch of mystery unfolds, adding another chapter to the UFO enigma. Missouri Republican Eric Burleson attended a classified UAP briefing this month, but mentioned that it did not change his beliefs. He said, there's nothing that's been said that's changed my worldview. He also added that he believes the claims of people who testified in public, but thinks there might be more to the story. Burleson, who heard secret information about UFOs, shared this idea on that UFO podcast. He said, they may not fit exactly the biblical narrative, but whenever I use the term angels, to me it's synonymous with an extra-dimensional being. In a podcast, Burleson shared his thoughts on UFOs, offering a detailed perspective on various theories surrounding these unidentified phenomena. Burleson discussed a theory he read in a public report by UFO whistleblower David Grush, who alleged that the government secretly recovered alien spacecraft and even dead pilots inside them. According to Grush's report, one theory suggests that what we are encountering might be beings that exist in higher dimensions beyond our normal understanding of space and time. Burleson used the analogy of living on a two-dimensional surface and being encountered by a three-dimensional object to explain the idea of encountering something from a higher dimension. In this case, he suggested that we live in a three-dimensional environment and could be encountering something from a higher dimension where traditional concepts of distance might become irrelevant. He expressed skepticism about the probability of being visited by an alien race from a distant planet, emphasizing the vast distances involved. Burleson questioned the likelihood of an advanced alien race traveling such long distances only to crash upon arrival on Earth. He leaned towards the idea that these phenomena are more likely to be extra-dimensional, existing beyond our usual. Burleson explained that various scriptures, including the Bible, describe messengers of God or angels as existing in dimensions beyond our own. While acknowledging the visual evidence and testimony from pilots regarding UFO sightings, Burleson emphasized the most likely explanation in his opinion. I don't discount the visual recordings or the testimonies from pilots. I believe they are genuinely witnessing something. There is substantial evidence of these unidentified objects and although we don't know what they are. I think the most probable explanation might not be what everyone hopes to hear. It could very well be advanced technology under development and research, possibly involving new propulsion technology. We identified the Higgs field, which essentially relates to gravity, and the particle is a wave function within that field. Looking back shortly after the discovery of nuclear vision, scientists developed the nuclear body. This illustrates how scientific theories can be transformed into practical functions. Burleson is not the only one suggesting a link between UFOs and religious texts. Representative Tim Burchett claimed in 2021 that UFOs were in the Bible, referring to the book of Ezekiel. According to Mystery Wire, Rep. Burchett talked about UFO as being written about in the Bible, pointing specifically to Ezekiel, this reference is for Ezekiel 428, in which there is a description of seeing an immense cloud with flashing lightning and surrounded by brilliant light. The center of the fire looked like glowing metal, and in the fire was what looked like four living creatures. When the living creatures moved, the wheels beside them moved. And when the living creatures rose from the ground, the wheels also rose. Wherever the spirit would go, they would go and the wheels would rise along with them because the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. While Grush has publicly discussed theories on UAPs that might originate from the higher order dimensions theorized by physicists, those concepts do not appear in the unclassified version of his complaint. The extra-dimensional or interdimensional hypothesis 
also does not appear in what has been made public from Grush's written statements, first submitted for approval to the Pentagon's Defense Office of Prepublication and Security Review. But Grush did talk about this theory when he was under oath, answering questions from Rep. Burleson during a public UA hearing in July 2023. Rep. Burleson said at the hearing, it's a bit hard to believe that an alien species advanced enough to travel billions of light years would come here and somehow not be able to survive. He then asked Grush about the interdimensional potential, saying, could you explain that? Grush said, no matter how smart you are, accidents happen like plane crashes and car crashes. A small percentage of missions may fail, as we say in the Air Force. Talking about multidimensionality, Grush mentioned the holographic principle. He explained it as imagining a 3D object casting a shadow onto a 2D surface. He said, you can be projected, sort of projected, from higher dimensional space to lower dimension. It's a scientific idea that you can actually cross dimensions, as far as I understand. There has been some speculation about UFOs being connected to religious visits or interdimensional beings since the early 20th century. This idea became more famous with the book Passport to Magoni, From Folklore to Flying Saucers by Jacques Vallee in 1969. Vallee later inspired a character in Steven Spielberg's UFO movie Close Encounters of the Third God. He spent years studying ancient text for his book. Valley states that UFOs and related events of a paranormal nature involve visitations from other realities or dimensions. The idea proposes that these alternate realities exist separately yet parallel to our own. In 1975's The Edge of Reality, Valley and Heineck considered the possibility of what they call interlocking universes. Daniel Sheehan, a public interest lawyer, an activist who was a former chief counsel for the United States Jesuit Order, revealed intriguing details about his conversations with the head of the Vatican archives regarding the Vatican's knowledge of extraterrestrial life. He proposed the formation of a task force involving all 54 major religious denominations to address the issue from a theological perspective. However, at that time, there was insufficient consensus and the proposal was declined. Shihan is currently working through his new Paradigm Institute to organize a global summit conference involving world religious leaders to discuss the recent recovery of an extraterrestrial spacecraft. The United States government is in possession of biological evidence and has actually taken into custody alive an extraterrestrial person. They're keeping this secret, interrogating the being, and distorting the information to justify massive expenditures on weapon development under the guise of a perceived threat. Daniel Sheehan, Sheehan highlighted the Vatican's acknowledgement of the possibility of extraterrestrial life. He referenced a formal statement issued by the Catholic Church on November 10, 2009, authorized by Pope Benedict. The statement issued by Father Zoe Gabriel Alfus, a director of the Pontifical Observatory in Rome, recognized the increasing discovery of exoplanets and called for a global discussion on the philosophical and theological implications of the imminent discovery of extraterrestrial life. Sheehan disclosed that the government was telepathically interrogating the extraterrestrial biological entity in custody. The Ebo allegedly conveyed that a coalition of star systems in our galaxy monitors the evolution of life on different planets, including Earth. Pope Benedict had a formal statement issued by the Catholic Church, saying that with the discovery of more exoplanets, it has become clear that we will be discovering life elsewhere in the universe. This prompted the need for a global discussion on the philosophical and theological questions posed by the discovery of extraterrestrial life. Daniel Sheehan, since the translation of the Book of Enoch from the ancient text discovered in Ethiopia in 1768, it has created a stir in the history of mankind that has been told for years. The Book of Enoch tells the story of the fallen angels called the Nephilims or the Anunnaki. It is attributed to Enoch, the great-grandfather of Noah. 
It is no wonder why the Book of Enoch was not included in the modern biblical version, since its content speaks of wicked angels who became fond of mortal women and mated with them, giving birth to the hybrid race of giant humanoids known throughout secular and biblical history as the Nephilim. The Nephilims then taught humans great technologies that made us greedy and awful until God destroyed them with a great flood in order to prevent further harm to creation. This is a massively oversimplified summary, but given these themes, the Book of Enoch has understandably grown in popularity in recent years. So this idea that what we're seeing are machines from other planets, I'm unconvinced. What we may be seeing is an alternate reality. You know, maybe it is something closer to dimensional travel. Former CIA officer Jim Simavon says, yes, there is a force out there that can control our environment. The UFO phenomenon can be shocking, especially to children, you know, for humanity. Are we alone or you know what happens when we die? Well, I don't know about that, but are we alone? Well, the answer is we're not alone. And I know that with 100% certainty, which as an intel officer, you never say 100%, but all things pointed towards, based on the people I talk to, the phenomenon is real. It's been going on for thousands of years. People have been seeing strange things and not everybody's mass hallucinating. Thanks for watching my video. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below and please don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to the UFO News because together we will explore.